I recently got an Instagram question from Sean who said this, rumors eBay are going to copy Amazon FBA. Have I heard anything and will you take part? So in this video, we're going to explore the ideas of Amazon FBA's biggest competitors. And it's maybe not what you think how I'm gonna answer this question. So um, going back on what Sean said, uh, in 2019, I remember seeing an article from eBay, which I will link down below, and it said something along the lines of that eBay are going to launch their fulfillment service, fulfillment by eBay. And I remember at the time thinking, that's what eBay need to do, because um, Amazon FBA completely changed the landscape. As we know, uh, over the last decade, they've just continued to scale up and scale and scale uh, because they've changed the industry. You know, you think being able to take control of um, sellers' shipments and sellers' orders in-house, it allowed Amazon to build their infrastructure to offer that same-day delivery, next-day delivery. Um, their, Amazon FBA, as we know, has, has completely revolutionized the, the industry. And eBay, if you, if you think about it, back in history, I remember when I grew up, I was it was, if you was gonna sell anything online, it would be through eBay. But the problem with eBay was you listed something, you listed an item that you wanted to sell, and then when you get an order, you would have to go to the post office and ship it. That's why Amazon FBA was revolutionary, that you didn't have to do that anymore. So as a seller, it made sense then just to, oh, I'm gonna sell on Amazon. Look at the traffic that's coming on Amazon. It's just fantastic. Um, so eBay have been left behind in some way over the last decade because Amazon have continued to grow and grow and grow. So the question is, um, rumors are eBay are gonna copy Amazon FBA? Um, I've been heard, I've heard of it. Uh, I remember reading about it in 2019, but it, it starts to ask a question a little bit more significant, especially for us as e-commerce sellers, Amazon FBA sellers. And who, who can compete with Amazon? long term and absolutely you know a company like ebay that's got the the infrastructure they've got the brand they've got the uh, people know about ebay if they're able to uh, adjust and have their own fulfillment by ebay service absolutely we would all of us we would consider that we would have a look at what's what's involved in it um, can we uh, diversify from Amazon onto eBay too, especially if they do their fulfillment by eBay, FBE service, right? But this also made me start thinking about um, what, what Amazon are doing. And Amazon, in, in many ways, as you know, they have always seen the customer as their number one priority. Right? They do everything that they've done in history. Uh, you'll hear it from um, everything that comes from Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos. It's all about the customer. How can we provide the absolute best service possible for the customer each and every time? Even if, if, if that is at a detrimental of, of Amazon themselves or us as third party sellers themselves, whether that is refunds without question, whether that is, you know, the, the customer's always right, that type of mentality. And that's what made me think about um, what is the potential for Amazon long term um, and the, comp the competitor of Amazon long term. And I can't help but keep thinking to myself that. And let me know down below, in the comments down below, what your thoughts are. That Amazon, they, they need to start changing their approach. And what I, what I mean by that is, they need to start seeing sellers as customers too, right? Us as sellers, we are also making Amazon money, right? We are supplying their products. I don't know what the statistics were. The statistics are something like, you know, a significant amount of their business now is from third party sellers. And the amount of third party sellers coming onto the marketplace, we are customers of theirs. And if they're not careful, my thoughts, are, you know, they, they are very, very quick to make a change that hurts sellers and is to the benefit of customers. Or they're very quick to uh, remove listings, or they're very quick to suspend uh, Amazon Seller Central accounts, or they're very quick to act where we are left scrambling. And I can't help but think, and let me know down below if you think this as well, if there's anything that's going to hurt them long-term, that is, if there's a competitor that can truly understand the the relationship between third-party sellers 
and see the same as a customer. Being able to act with the balance of our sellers are customers as well as the customers are customers and everything we do has to be in sort of synergy in terms of alignment to all parties. And if that means um, instead of being quick to make a policy change that affects absolutely everybody, being able to communicate a little bit more, saying, you know, we, we are thinking about this right now, it is going to change the way that we're going to sell long term. So you've got six months, everybody, you've got six months to change your approach. Uh, you've got six months to ad adapt your business because in six months time we're going to make this change or you know from a um, amazon account management somebody from amazon and they're developing more resources to be able to communicate with us as sellers and not just sort of answer support questions and things like that but actually um, selling questions and not just like drive the price down or um, you know uh, we have inact we've made your listing inactivated because of pricing errors um, instead it's like uh, communicate with like I know they have like the selling coach and things like this but I think that they can do more and if if a competitor long term is able to get this right whether it's eBay whether it's another company are able to get this right I think in my personal opinion, that it would have a significant pull from um, a large portion of Amazon sellers that may be feeling like, oh God, look at all these changes, what's happening, feeling at risk, whether the account's gonna be okay or not okay, changing policies, they're, they're gonna jump ship or they're going to at least check out another marketplace. That's just my thoughts, Sean. Um, I know for us, it's one of the things that I've, I've always wanted to, I've been brainstorming about, just started to, to get started with the first initial ideas of actually uh, being able to um, launch our own internal, a part of our systemize, um, it, our internal uh, direct to consumer uh, website where we actually do see sellers um, as our customers. And yes, we will focus on customer service as well, but sellers are customers too. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are your thoughts? I uh, just wanted to shoot this quick video from uh, Sean who uh, made that uh, quick comment and asked the question on Instagram. Um, but it, it does ask the question and it, it gives us a pondering question of like, what is the future of Amazon FBA? Is there a competitor? I think they need one. And I think if you can get that fine balance between seeing sellers and customers as alike, being a lot more transparent with changes upcoming, I think it would make a big difference. And that company that does that right has a great future ahead of them. So um, love to know your thoughts down below. Take care, keep taking massive action, and I look forward to speaking to you in some next videos that I'll have right here. Take care. If you've got a question, by the way, just comment down below any questions starting this sort of Ask Kev series too. So take care and I'll speak to you soon.